Hi there, Sandra here from the Schwoben's Nest. Thanks for joining me today. Today's video is a challenge collaboration hosted by Domestic Diva DIY. Sonia does some wonderful DIY projects. She also has just changed her channel a little bit. She's got a DIY channel, a home channel, and a cooking channel. If you have not seen her videos, you need to go check out her channels. I'll have all three of them listed in my description box. I've got a couple of cute little farmhouse DIYs for you today, and both of them are going to be made purely from dollar store items. Some from the Dollar Tree and some from Dollarama, which is local to Canada. I'm going to see how I can fit this little box together and make a nice little crate. So I'm going to use these tags for the sides, a little Dollar Tree frame box for the bottom, and these wooden garden stakes from Dollarama as little picket fences on the side. So the first thing I have to do is just measure out the length that I need for my picket fence. I love using these little wooden garden stakes that I get. 10 to a pack for $1.25 and they're super easy to cut. I think they're made out of balsa wood or it might even be basswood, not quite sure, but I can just take a pair of scissors and just cut them to size. They're fantastic to use. The first step to assembling this project is to glue the box to the side wood tags. So these are fairly thick, but hot glue is going to hold them just nicely. Next, I'll use hot glue again to glue the wooden stakes onto the little wooden frame box. To make this look even more like a picket fence, I'm going to use a board on the bottom and then about three quarters of the way up. So I'm just going to use two more sticks, cut them to size and then hot glue them in place. Since this is a challenge today, I would like you to go down to my description box, click on that playlist link and take a look at all of the other YouTube creators and see what they made for less than $10. Now I'm just going to use a little bit of sandpaper and just sand down any of the rough edges from where I cut the little pieces of wood. At first I thought I would just use some spray paint to get into all of the nooks and crannies a little easier, but the spray paint that I had was not working very well. So because I'm at my cottage doing this video, I had limited supplies. So I'm going to go back to basics and use my DIY chalk paint and give this a couple of really good coats. I've had this lemon scrapbook paper hanging around my house for quite a while. I decided to pull it out and use it for on the tags. So I'm going to just trace out the shape of the tags on either side and then fold the paper in half and cut out two at a time. Normally I would use white glue or Mod Podge to glue the pieces of paper on top of these wood tags. Unfortunately, I left my Mod Podge at home. So I'm just using a thin coat of my DIY chalk paint and I'm just going to press the lemon paper on really firmly until it dries. I'm just going to take some sandpaper and gently sand off the edges where there was a little bit of the paper hanging over. And the other thing I'm going to do is just take the sandpaper lightly across the paper just to give it a more worn and weathered look. I was really liking the way this was starting to turn out, but I found that the white was a little too white. So I've got my Craft Smart oil based pen and I'm just going to go across and up and down the edges just to give it a bit of an enamel look, maybe a little bit of a chippy weathered look. 
I've got these rub-on transfers that come from the Dollar Tree, so I'm going to put the words fresh lemons on one side of this box. Now putting these on is super easy. You just cut out the letter, place it down, and then you need to just burnish it with some type of tool, either a little scraper. I just ended up using the bottom side of the paintbrush and it worked really well. My second project for you today is using this cute little metal wheelbarrow. It's got a beautiful brown color to it, but of course it's not going to stay that color. I'm going to use trem clad hammered metal finish in silver and I'm going to give this just a really light coat because I want some of the brown to show through. I also then took the black hammered metal finish and gave it a little bit of a speckle so you can actually see a little bit of the brown through through, you can see some of the silver and then a little bit of the black. Using the same paper as my first project, and of course I don't have any Mod Podge, so I'm still using my chalk paint as the glue, and I just cut out one of the lemons and kind of a little slice. You'll see it in just a second. So just a portion of it. And what I'm doing is just sticking it on the one side of the wheelbarrow. Now, just to help it stick a little bit more, I'm just putting a little bit more of the chalk paint underneath. Probably when I get home, I'm gonna go over this with some Mod Podge and make sure it stays in place permanently. Here I'm using my Craft Smart oil-based paint pen in white just to outline the lemon picture. It's just going to make it pop a little bit more against the metal. Using the same marker, I'm going to freehand the word lemons and then 25 cents. I'd like to thank Sonia for hosting this challenge. It was a lot of fun. If you like what you saw, I would love for you to stick around a while and hit that red subscribe button. You can also click the bell to get notified each time I upload a new video. Thanks so much for watching.